three-point shooting, Greg. What's your opinion of that? Well, Kevin, you know, stretching the D isn't just about how far out they have to defend. It's the distance between that and how far in you have to defend. That's why analytics favors shots at the rim and from distance. So with Paul on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. Sohan is the four with the lengthy Wembenyama playing the five. Then there's Devin Vassell. Then it's Johnson. And it's Champagny in at the two guard. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. It seems likely that the Warriors' title run under Steph Curry, Brent, has probably come to a close. Yeah, I'm not going to count Steph Curry out quite yet, Kevin, but, you know, they have added some quality youngsters. They're trying to grow that group. How fast can they bring those kids along to championship caliber players? That's the big question. They're going to win their share of games. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. You know, Greg, with a combination of Wembenyama and coach Greg Popovich, the Spurs should be a great defensive team. Yeah, it, it's hard with a young roster because all five guys have to work in unison, and often someone's going to make a mistake. Curry from deep three-point land. Second chance shot. Jackson Davis with it. Wembenyama on him. Jackson Davis can't get it to go. Rembenyama passes to Paul. Rembenyama outside. Johnson down low. He's against Wiggins. Johnson can't get it to go. Wiggins against Paul. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Another miss by Curry. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Sohan, and it's blocked. Here's Green. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Green's got 10 points. Now Draymond did a good job of getting some space there and rooting himself to collect. Vassell against Heald. Vassell, the pass to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Curry. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. You asked Greg Popovich about Victor Wembanyama, and he says Victor's a different player. He's got talent, so you don't want to take that out of him. I tried to do that with Manu Ginobili, and I learned my lesson. Just shut up and let him play. Victor does some amazing things. His game is all-encompassing. Kevin? That's a great way to put it, D.A. It is all-encompassing. Wem Banyama is one of one. Hey, thank you for the report. Here's Heald. San Antonio with the rebound. It's not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And since he entered the league, Vassell's playmaking has really come a long way. He is a solid creator. Passes it to Wiggins. That shot misses. Johnson with the defensive effort. Vassell, the pass to Paul. That one good for two. That's now eight points for Chris Paul. You know, Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. The pass to Wiggins. Healed outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. Curry against Paul. And it's Curry with the rebound. Warriors leading by 16 from deep three-point land. Tries again. And the rejection by Rembenyama. 
and Stephen Curry gets the three. Curry's got 10 points. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Here's Vassell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Healed the pass to Green. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. 12 points for him. Well, we don't say it all that often, but Draymond Green taking over this game offensively tonight. Bounce pass from Paul. Rembenyama passes to Sohan. Paul outside. Pass to Johnson. Over Wiggins. Johnson can't hit. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. No one near Curry as he lets it go. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? Uh, there could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially blatant on drives to the rim. San Antonio calls timeout. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. San Antonio making a switch here. Jones is checked in. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Golden State. On defense, Golden State. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Pass to Sohan. Over Kaminga, a nice shot by Sohan. Sohan's got six. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Warriors. Now Kaminga, 11 points in the game. The shot by Curry, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And the basket by Jones. Oh, how about the vision by Wimbenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Warriors leading by 20. On its way from Curry for two. Johnson with the rebound. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Seven points in the game. Now, I'm not shy about bringing it inside. Vassell is comfortable around the hoop. Curry kicks to Heald. The feed now to Kaminga. Over Johnson. And it's Kaminga that time on the assist by Heald. Heald's got four assists now tonight. Jones against Curry. To the middle. Green with the rebound. Green's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Kaminga finds Curry. Breaks since reaching five consecutive NBA Finals. The Warriors have missed the playoffs three of the past five years. And to be fair, uh, they did go 46 and 36 last season. They were 10 games over 500 last year. So they weren't a bad team, but Golden State doesn't just expect to be in the play in. They want to be a contender.
That's good from Stephen Curry. So, Greg, the Spurs last year began 15 and 56, but it was the ending that they're really hanging their head on. They won seven of their last 11 games. And over that closing stretch, Wimby averaged 27 points, 13 rebounds, seven assists, and five blocks. A, a small glimpse into the potential of this young superstar. Stephen Curry hits them both. Yeah, we talk so much about Curry being the best shooter after he makes a three, but there's a lot more to it. I mean, this guy is also the most accurate free throw shooter of all time. So it's pure no matter where it comes from. Jones, no luck. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And it's in there. Curry's got 10 points in just the second half. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Curry against Jones. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got his fourth rebound in this one. Curry is inside. Misses the baby hook. The Spurs shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Branham can't get it to go. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 17-6 run. And the basket is good. Curry's got 12 points now in the quarter. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Jones looking for an opening. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. In high quality numbers for him all season long. How about 81 from the line? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Outside Curry. Again, Curry missing. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Offensive rebound, Barnes. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Barnes has got eight. Barnes so good at getting to that area on the floor and then making sure it counts. Looney finds Pajemski. Here's Moody. And they recover it. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Harrison Barnes picks one up. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? The first free throw is good. What you appreciate most about Curry is his confidence, especially when it comes to how far he can connect from. The Warriors making a switch here. Green's checked in. And both free throws good for Curry. And uh, San Antonio shooting well. They're at 45%. Passes it to Collins. Over Green. The shot by Collins, no good. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Here's Curry. Kept alive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Curry's got 23 points. 
Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Jones against Curry. The pass to Champagny. Barnes left side. Pass to Branham. Five on the clock. With the shot. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Branham's got six points. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Snatched up. Here's Kaminga. That's in. He's seven for 12 now in the game. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Jones the pass to Collins. Barnes outside. Jones against Curry. Collins kicks to Barnes. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Looking now at some numbers for Brandon Pajemski. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Feeds it to Kaminga. The shot, no good. And uh, San Antonio shooting 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. Curry against Jones to the wing right side. And that one's good, Champagny. He's got five. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. On its way from Curry for two. Rebounded by the Spurs. Collins has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Jones the pass to Collins. Here's Champagny. He's got five. Outside, Jones. Pass to Barnes. Puts up a three. He doesn't hit that one. Warriors leading by 23. Here's Kaminga. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Kaminga's got 17 now. Here's Branham. He has six. He feeds it to Collins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And it goes on Draymond Green. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Shooting two. And that one falls for Collins. That one misses. And so it's the Golden State Warriors finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. And we'll be right back after this. A chance now to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team just moments ago. Nobody holds the ball. Not even 1,001. You catch it, it's a shot, it's a drive or pass, whatever you got. Specific instructions from Greg Popovich. If you don't have a clean look, don't have an open lane, move the ball. Yeah, and the key is fast decision-making, and that takes great recognition from all five guys in terms of communication. That, that's really what we call chemistry. 
And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The athletic front court pair. Wiggins alongside Kaminga. Pajemski out there with heel. And it's Jackson Davis in at the pivot, manning the middle. Victor Wembenyama grabs the rebound. Kicks it out to Paul. Back to Vassell. And the league limiting players from making public trade demands, which I guess makes sense. That's a big change from the past, isn't it? Yeah, I think it saves franchises from being put in a tough spot. Keeps a player's trade value high, which helps the team they're leaving. And he gets it to go. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Here's Sohan. A three-pointer off the mark. Warriors leading by 21. On the wing, heel. Back to Wiggins. A baseline J. And too long on the shot. The Spurs have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Paul finds Vassell. Wiggins with some nice D. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Jackson Davis with it. Now Pajemski. Here's Wiggins. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Pass to Pajemski. Driving in. A rebound by Johnson. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in, and it's blocked. And here we go. Wiggins heading to the hoop for the finish. And Wiggins throws it down hard. And how about the acrobatics from Andrew Wiggins? Way up that time. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Some players, Brent, have claimed entertainment is emphasized over competition. What do you think? Well, I think there's a great balance, and the league does a great job of promoting its stars. But at the end of the day, Kevin, trust me, guys who are out here have a love for the game, a passion for the competition, and that's what we want to see. So both teams making some changes here. And stolen by Melton. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. It's blocked. Here's Castle. He's guarded by Melton. He gets it in there. Now all the way to the bucket. No resistance. 
just swiped the candy from him. Greg, we see the NBA fining players for certain actions or statements. Multiple offenders are always going to be under the microscope, Kevin. Sometimes they end up playing into those expectations, so those punishments can appear a bit skewed. They are just killing them on the interior. Here's Waters. Passes it to Melton. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And a look now at the San Antonio Spurs' upcoming schedule. On Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah up against the Jams. And then on Wednesday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And for their matchup with Phoenix, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. Pass to Castle. Five to shoot. Ren Benyama with it. Puts up a deep three. Wiggins with the rebound. Wiggins has got six rebounds in the game. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Spurs trail by 21. Here's Ren Benyama. The 15-footer. Good. And that's 13 points for Victor Ren Benyama. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Waters passes to Melton. Going inside. As he pulls it in. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Wesley. Put it back, put it back. The rebound by Anderson. Warriors leading by 19 points. And the pass to Melton. Back to Anderson. Pass to Melton. Some nice passing by Golden State here. They could use a bucket. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And they've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. San Antonio's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's Castle. The Spurs getting another chance here. And Wimbenyama gets it to go. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, some have argued that Wembenyama deserved Defensive Player of the Year consideration in his rookie year. And Kevin, I can see where they're coming from. His team went from a bottom five defense to a top five defense when he was on the floor. His impact is amazing. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And guys, this really has been his night. Uh, he's done a lot of things well, but his scoring really put him over the top. Uh, you can see how determined he's been every time he's gotten his hands on the ball. Great drive and also great focus offensively. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Outside, Jones. Back to Wembenyama. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists now in this one. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. They lead by 17. Pass to Jackson Davis. 
Now Curry. Passes it to Wiggins. The three. And there's the foul. It'll go on Trace Jackson Davis. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. The Spurs have gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth, right around 46 47 percent. Jones kicks to Barnes. The pass to Wembenyama. Unloads from 13. It's rebounded by Golden State. Curry's got six rebounds here tonight. A nice shot by Moody. And it's eight points for Moses Moody. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Here's Collins. Hits the jump hook. Now Collins continues to play hard and determined to get inside to make it happen. Curry with it. Guarded now by Barnes. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. That's a bad miscue, but I think they've done a really good job keeping control of the ball throughout the game. And the Spurs with some changes. Jeremy Sohan comes in for Collins. And Paul subbed in for Jones. Buddy Heald, he's checked in for the Warriors. It's Vassell on the wing. It's blocked. Now here's Green. It's Curry outside. Wembenyama with the rebound. Wembenyama has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. And that one, good. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Outside, Green. Pass to Jackson Davis. Outside, Curry. Just five to shoot. They kick out to heel. Three-pointer. And Paul pulls it down. Spurs trail by 18. The feed to Barnes. And that one drops. Attacking is one thing, but body control another. And Harrison Barnes showing you that on that play. Healed against Vassell. Healed with the bucket. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. It's Wimbenyama, top of the key. Warriors with the rebound. And here is Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Golden State moving the ball around. Green kicks to Curry. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Curry's got 26. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And you got to get a body on Wimbenyama or he will eat you up down low. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up, and boy, have they. And I feel like there's been an old-school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. Free throw no good for Wembenyama. A, a generational talent for Wembenyama. The sky is the limit and the reality. Healed outside. Passes to Kaminga. On the wing, Wiggins. Floats it up for Kaminga. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, that's impressive. Kaminga with the catch and the flush. Spurs trail by 21. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Paul left side. Pulls it up. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close 
you really got to give it up here for the Warriors. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Stephen Curry. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. And you got to be cautious when you're guarding Wimbanyama. At his size, he attracts a lot of fouls. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. We throw good when Benyama. Considered by many to be the best prospect since LeBron James. Wembenyama seems determined to reach his full potential. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. There's 45 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Curry looking around. Now the pass to Heald. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. Off target from outside. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. The shot's good from Paul. And Chris Paul still slippery on the inside when he gets close to the hoop. He'll find a way to score. Curry against Paul. Outside Curry. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.